Well, hello everybody, Doug Rucker here with DougRuckerSchools.com and DougRuckerStore.com located right here in the Houston, Texas area. We're actually located up here in uh, Porter, Texas, Humble, Kingwood, Texas area. So stop in and see us. We're your Houston pressure washing and soft washing supply store. And hey, I had a viewer uh, send me actually a little metal box and I'm going to show you why I think this is an awesome little box and a great tool to have. So I'm gonna talk about that coming up next. Okay guys, if you've known me or followed me very long, you know that I am a big time downstreamer. I love downstreaming. downstreaming. I just think it's the easiest way to clean houses and buildings that aren't you know, real dirty. Sometimes you run across uh, really bad houses, really bad buildings or whatever <clears throat> that have a lot of that bad organic growth. You need a little bit stronger mix. So in those cases, we use the Kingslinger or we use the Kingslinger for cleaning roofs. But pretty much most of the time we can get uh, most buildings and houses clean by using the downstream method. And so something I've been using for many years is called a th poly three-way valve. And these are on our website. You can buy these. Um, by themselves if you'd like and so what happens is you have one quarter inch hose that goes from the bottom barb out to your injector and then you would have another hose that goes to your water tank or water bucket and then another one that goes to your bleach and so when you want to rinse you could simply walk over and turn this valve to the rinse uh, to the water side and it will draw water only through the injector or you could switch it to the other side and it's going to draw bleach only through the injector. And so it was a way that we used for years um, to go from bleach to water when we were downstreaming. Um, then along came bypass downstream injectors where we could walk over and turn the ball valve and that would stop the, the bleach flow and also restore the pressure and the flow loss caused by having a downstream injector in line. Um, so uh, that's basically the way we did it. And when we mounted these, we either just zip tied them uh, to something in the truck or the trailer, or we would use a hose clamp or something like that, put them onto the hose reel or somewhere on the truck or trailer where this was easily accessible to get to. Um, a lot of times, even with the downstream bypass injector, we would hook this up so that we could always rinse the injector out when we were done. That's the key that these play in <clears throat> when you're hooking these up in certain uh, with certain injectors or bypasses or whatever, so that you can always rinse the injector out when you're done. So, a viewer a few couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago saw how I had mine mounted. His name is Ricky. He's been a long time viewer and a great customer. And he sent me this little silver box, just like this. And what this is designed for is it's basically a mounting bracket so that we can take and put the, uh, the three-way poly valve in this little box and then we can mount it. It's got four screws that would go in here I'll show you one of them. Actually, it's going to either have four or two. One batch I got had two. Uh, one here, as a matter of fact, the one on my truck here has one screw there, one screw there. Um, this one, the last batch I get in, they've got four screw holes. And so um, that allows you, there's two mounting holes back here that you can mount this down on a trailer floorboard. You can mount it up, different ways that you can mount this. And so it's a great little tool to have so that it keeps the three-way valve um, braced so it doesn't move around and you can easily turn from your bleach to your water mix, okay? And so I'll show you how we have it on our uh, truck and how we use it and how you can use it in different configurations for you. Okay, so here I have uh, already my box mounted and I've got the hose here. This hose goes to the bleach tank because the bleach tank in the back of the truck, that's the furthest 
uh, tank away from us. The bleat, uh, tank here closest to us is the water tank. And so when I pull this lever this way, it's going to draw water only. When I turn it the other way towards that hose, it's going to draw bleach only. And of course, when I turn it to the middle, it's going to stop any type of flow coming out. And so we use it with our Flow Pro remote control system. So when I hook up the Flow Pro remote system with my bypass on it, then all I do is take my downstream injector, just like this, hook it into the Flow Pro. Hook my hose up, my whip hose that's going to my hose reel. And then I, of course, would plug my plug into the uh, actuator there. And so now I'm all set. This is ready to draw bleach or water through this little valve. So on the remote, you have two different buttons. You've got a blue one that's a rinse button. You have a red one that's a mix button. So when we're getting ready to set up and clean a house or a building, we always have the little valve pointed towards the bleach tank. That way, when we hit the mix button, we know it's going to draw bleach. When we hit the rinse button, we know it's going to draw water and we can start rinsing the building. Okay. So at the end of the day, at the end of the job, when we're done, I want to rinse my injector out. Okay. So all I do is I come over here and I turn this three-way valve up top, get the hose out of the way. I turn it over to this direction. So that's pointing towards away, which is our water tank. So now when I hit the mix button, it's going to draw water only. And it's going to run water only through the injector so that I can rinse the injector out, get the little bit of soap that gets caught into the hose or right up in this area and the whip line or whatever. Okay. You'll see a sudden burst of soap come out if you're using soap. And uh, I run it a couple of minutes more just to get all of that out of the line. And then I'm done. I go back and hit my rinse button, run it for a little bit more. And then I shut my machine down and I'm done. The last thing that I do before I take my injector off is I turn this, the valve lever to the middle. Okay. That will stop any type of bleach or water or whatever from continuing to be siphoned through the injector hose. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my whip hose off and I'm going to take my Flow Pro remote system off of my machine and I'm going to take it and put it into the back seat of my truck because I don't leave mine permanently mounted. I always take it off. Okay. So what that does, by keeping it in the middle, it stops the flow because you could still have a vacuum where bleach or water could still come out. And so it just keeps it from leaking all over the place, especially the bleach. So I always return this to the middle portion of the valve so it will stop that. Now I'll show you how you can do it if, even if you're not using a Flow Pro. Hey everybody, before I get to the next segment, don't forget May 20th and 21st right here in Kingwood, Texas. Uh, at the Courtyard Marriott, I am hosting an absolutely free training those two days. Deco Products uh, will be in town and we're going to teach you how to clean, sand, and seal the Courtyard Marriott paver entryway. Um, great opportunity to learn there. We'll also do a little bit of concrete out there. And then we'll also go to my house and do some wood sealing and cleaning, wood cleaning and sealing. So uh, make sure you get registered, pressurecleaningschool.com slash events. And uh, you can call the hotel. We have special room, rate, room rates there for you. And I hope to see everybody there. Okay, so this is just a regular manual uh, bypass downstream injector setup and the, basically the way this works is it's going to draw your bleach up and uh, out of your bucket or if you've got it plumbed to your 
tanks, which you could do in this same situation, why then your siphon tube that's going to the injector is just going to simply slide up onto that bottom barb. Again, I'm going to turn this towards the bleach because when I turn this ball valve to draw the bleach, I got to make sure I'm hooked up to the bleach. Okay, so I'll turn that ball valve. Now the water coming out across the machine is going to draw my bleach. When I want to rinse the house, I simply walk over to this and I turn that ball valve and now I'm bypassing that injector and the water is going down to my hose so that I can rinse. So same thing goes when I get done at the end of the day and I want to rinse my injector out, then I simply come over, turn my lever to water, turn this so that it will draw the solution and not do the bypass and so I draw water only for a few minutes to rinse the injector out. Same thing is going to happen even if you don't have a bypass. Let's say you just have a regular downstream injector by itself hooked to a quarter inch hose by the way, I have our check valve installed on this one, so I get a little bit stronger mix. So you would just simply hook it up just like that. There's no bypass here, no remote, just an injector. Same thing, the bottom of the tube, siphon tube, is going to connect here. I'm going to put this on bleach. When I put my chemical tip in or my low flow nozzle to draw the bleach out, it's going to draw the bleach. If I want to rinse the house with that same nozzle so I'm getting high flow, then I simply walk back to the truck and I would turn this lever all the way over to water. And then it's going to uh, draw just water going through the injector. This way, every time you rinse, you're getting water going through the injector, so you're actually rinsing it multiple times. So that's one of the benefits of not having a bypass on here. You're still gonna lose a little bit of pressure, a little bit of flow, if you don't have a bypass system or a Flow Pro remote. But it's negligible, it's not huge, okay? Um, but it still allows you to use the downstream injector, rinse the downstream injector, and gives you a way to turn your bleach from bleach mix to water so you can rinse, okay? Now, let's say, because a bypass injector and the FlowPro remote are both designed so that when you go to rinse, you're not losing flow, you're not losing pressure, okay? So what I used to do when I did it this way, and I wanted to go surface clean, and I wanted all my pressure and all my flow back, I would simply remove the injector and now I've restored my pressure and my flow back. And then I would of course put this in the middle so it shuts off any siphoning or any vacuum created or whatever that's going to make it still leak out of here because that can happen. Okay, So that's a couple different ways that you can use not only the three-way polyvalve that was really the purpose of this video is to show you how to use this three-way polyvalve on either a flow pro remote bypass downstream manual injector or not using either one of those and you still want a downstream but just remember you've got to plumb both hoses one hose each on either side to one goes to your bleach tank one goes to your water tank okay guys i hope this has been helpful for you guys um i like i said i've used this little three-way valve for many many years just in the uh regular form big shout out to old ricky walker for sending this, this to me um i really do appreciate that's one thing i love about this channel is we get to uh, uh bash not bash but toss ideas back and forth and a lot of guys a lot of you guys text me or email me or whatever um and so i learn a lot from you guys just as well as you learn from me and i appreciate each and every one of you but uh hopefully this has helped you guys especially if you're downstreaming like i do as always please leave a comment um ask a question if i can help you in any way hit that subscribe button That'll help you get notifications every time I come out with something that can help you and then hit that bell 
because that will notify you um, when I come out with something. Okay, subscribe then hit the bell. Uh, thanks again. Don't forget online video school. Over 200 something videos. Um, I've had it for over 10 years, I believe. It's an awesome, uh, awesome training to help you drastically cut your learning curve. And then we also have my monthly schools coming up. Uh, next one is in June, second Monday and Tuesday. I'm not sure of the date exactly, but uh, you can go to pressure cleaning school slash events and you'll see all of the trainings for every month coming up. All right. Thank you all. And y'all have an awesomely blessed day. any reason why you can't take your good pressure washing business and turn it into a great exterior cleaning business.